Hello everybody and welcome back to another Baldur's Gate 3 video. Yes, um, a little bit of a rant on the mod collection and the modding community basically in general. Uh, it's gonna be, I don't know, about 5 minutes, hopefully less. So I don't take too much time from the video, if you know what I mean. But I do want to let you guys know that uh, the mod collection has been updated since I started making this uh, uh, playthrough. It's now currently a revision 254, okay, it's got 3 extra gigabytes. Uh, it's on game version 4.48.54.838, which I believe is currently the latest version of the game. Uh, th they did just kind of ninja patch it during uh, the second video, I believe. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, if you get this... All of this, that means uh, these mods are currently removed, okay? Which is why I'm making this video, so you guys know that uh, Revision 250 might not be stable anymore. A lot of the, yeah, like the core ones and some, some stuff just got removed and um, I'm just gonna switch screens real quick. Make a transition, okay? See, it's, it's currently Revision 254. Which was uh, added on the 4th, which was, uh, was yesterday. But on the 26th, there was a message from the uh, curator of the collection, namely Roku95. And uh, we actually do have an open letter to Larian Studios, okay? Larian just... I don't know, the, I, 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 guess, I guess a lot of the... The mods just are, are getting shut down or something? I'm not completely sure. Uh, I've only just recently found out about this as well. But there is an open letter. We have a lot of uh, big names from the Baldur's Gate 3 modding community. That have actually signed this letter. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to read this, just get on the collection. You get this in the comment section. It's right up top. Click the open letter. But yeah, just a lot of stuff just gets hidden, okay? You cannot download these anymore. Which means, um, yeah, Roku will be literally unable to maintain this mod list if this continues. So, download at your own risk because you will probably have to do some uh, manual adjusting like I am doing right now. Uh, I have not updated since 250. Since uh, 250 right here, I have not updated, but uh, they did add apparently the Undead Race and some other stuff. Uh, oops. Not the mod. Uh, they did uh, go from like 560 when the mod list was downloaded on my end to 640. <laughs> so there, there's a bunch of new mods that have been added. Uh, like uh, these. We got Ghastly Ghouls playable on that race, so yeah. But yeah, again, just download at your own risk. Um, I have not tested 254 yet. I don't know if it's going to break the the save I have. So I'm going to have to do this on a separate profile, which is going to take forever because... Um, Nexus Mods did not uh, yet deliver the, the premium... I'm supposed to be getting a premium for about eight months if my calculations are correct because I I, I don't have the necessary unique downloads to get a permanent premium just yet. But again, this is something that is going to be implemented a little bit later, apparently. Uh, you can no longer uh, get premium with points. So, yeah. I have to manually download the collection, which is a pain. Uh, let me actually endorse because I forgot. I actually do like this collection. And I, I really hope um, Larian's just more transparent than the... Yeah, I haven't read everything, but yeah, that's basically one of the main issues. Transparency. Okay. So, yeah. Again, download at your own risk. And with that said... Uh, wrong scene. Let me actually close this real quick. <laughs> Don't mind the Kratos. Kratos? Kratos? How do, how do you even spell that? Anyway, uh, hold on. There we go. There we go. All right. With that said, it's 
Five minutes. Nice. All right. Time we actually get this game going. So again, uh, if you guys enjoy the content, make sure you like and uh, subscribe. And let me know in the comment section that you actually enjoy my content. It does actually help me mentally. <laughs> and it does actually help the channel grow. Uh, you guys have kind of boosted my view rate a little bit lately. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, I did get a couple of new subscribers. Hello. Thank you for joining. My small channel is slowly growing because of you guys. Again, thank you very much. And uh, I hope to please is what I'm trying to say right now. Uh, last time I clicked on this and the game kind of broke. I'm not going to click on this. Well, let me actually figure out. It's been a bit since I played. Because uh, <clears throat> I'm playing with my kid at home right now. We are sick again. I have no idea how. But yeah. I think it's because a bunch of kids are just sick lately. Yeah, you don't need to cough though. <laughs> he is intentionally coughing. And I know it. Alright, I think we rested in the video. In the last video, I mean. And yes, we have. I need to figure out where exactly I left off. So I have no dialogue here. Uh, if I recall, there was no actual scene happening. No cutscene. Uh, again, if I accidentally break this save or if the game just gets another uh, another shadow update and everything just breaks, um, I will update the mod collection as best I can. And we will begin anew, because I do actually in fact want to finish the game. What is this? Was I not just in... Uh... Was I not just in camp? Oh, it's a night event. Uh, I may have been at camp during daytime. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, Wast is not fixed yet. I'm gonna have to try to fix that somehow. I have yet to actually figure out how to fix Wast, I'm not gonna lie. It's a pain. What I could do is plug in my PS5 controller and uh, use that instead of mouse, but I don't want to have to always just switch UIs and the game may break because I think the mods are not made with the controller in mind. Now let me actually see if there's anything around here. I've never actually been behind here. Oh, there's a lever. Or is it a lever? I think it's a lever, no? Ooh, okay. I've never actually been all the way over here. But well let me let me actually check this real quick. Where are we at? Alrighty then. Chapel entrance and we are all the way up here. Let me turn off the the thingy. So I don't see everything in the area. Um, let's see, where exactly am I and why is this a thing? Oh, hold up. Hold up. Could I have just come through here instead of having to beat everybody? Wait, let me actually check the map. Oh my, well, there you go, guys. I think you can go through the back without actually having to beat anybody. But let me actually check. That's curious. There we go. Couple survival checks. If we fail this, you don't see it, by the way, which is kind of annoying. I hope at some point a mod just makes it so survival checks are not necessary. It's a little bit annoying that these are hidden from, from view. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of the things that I don't like about Baldur's Gate, even though it's a great game. It still has some issues in my eyes. Just small issues. Well, are they issues if... I just have to stop to listen. <laughs> uh, like an yeah, see? 
It's a little bit annoying, not being able to actually just see them. There we go. Alright. Uh, I need camera tweaks so bad, it's... The default camera is nice, but I hate it. I'm sorry. I hate it. I actually hate it. Like, just the angles, bro. I hate these angles. And having to constantly readjust is kind of a pain, too. But, yeah. That said, the game's great, so do play it, <laughs> if you haven't. Uh, yeah, you can, in fact, maybe possibly go behind. Hmm. So, if, if you go through here, you literally just avoid fighting everybody. The question is... Can you just climb down there? Uh, I'm not exactly sure why the entire map is discovered, I'm not gonna lie. Might be one of the mods. Might be one of the mods. Wait, can I just teleport all the way over there? What is this? Find Zoru. Ooh, the Gityanki Crash. Okay, so we got a bunch of quests over here. Daughter of Torn. Also, these are the companion ones. We don't really care about those right now. Mm, do I go for the Gityanki Crash? I've never actually went all the way to the Crash. So I may just do that. But... It's a little bit annoying because I know for a fact... Um, Shadow Heart and Lazel don't mix. So yeah, I'm worried. Mm, that said, I do remember something which I have not uh, discovered in this current playthrough, which we uh, we are going to be doing right now. There is a chest. Uh, I just need to remember exactly where. Please don't step in fire. Thank you. Alright, so it's somewhere around where um, Asterion was. I believe it's down here in the water. Random boar. Let me actually talk to the boar. <laughs> uh, sure. A little bit of animal handling with Shadow Heart to boost us. Ooh, okay. Alright. Um The boar shuffles its trotters, unsure. Then it dashes away. Okay. I mean we just gained some favorability? Is that how it's called? What do they call it? Let me actually check. Uh approval, there we go. Favorability. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, let me just jump down there. There is a chest here, if I recall. It's behind or underneath the, the rock, rather. You know what's annoying, by the way? The one thing I actually dislike, even though you don't technically need it in the game. Uh, you can't swim. I don't know if there's fishing, like, at all. But the fact that you can't swim is a little bit of a, of a pain. You might argue that you can't swim with armor. Um... Uh, I'm pretty sure the, the people in the medieval era would disagree. Alright, can I push this with my strength? Probably not. Because it's going in a weird direction. Can I go up here? Man, I don't wanna... Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna have to rely on, a little bit on Gale. Uh, Alright. Let me just ungroup. Because they're getting in the way and it's a little bit annoying. I don't want to push everybody off. Because you can't actually push your own party. Which is a little bit annoying sometimes. We just, we just gotta get them out of the way. And uh, use Thunder Weave. Push the rock. Uh, if it's blue. Then you push in it. Okay. If it's red, then it means the area is blocked and you can't push it at all. <laughs> Which is a little bit silly, but it is what it is. Boom. And there is a chest. Yes. We got a Harper notebook, a ruby, a Harper map, some potion of speed. Okay. 
We don't technically need all of this, but let me actually check. I don't recall if this is in the actual game. Let's see, Selunite Sect. I don't recall if this is some mod edition or something. Okay. Looking ahead. So did it mark something? It did. Oh yeah, okay, this is this is in the actual game and it's not a mod edition. Um I don't recall if I've actually been there in this current playthrough, but I don't think I have. I know where it is though, so it's gonna be easy to actually get there. Let me actually uh group back. I know I say actually a lot, I'm sorry. I am sorry, I'm trying to become a little bit more self-conscious about what I'm talking. Uh, my ADHD makes me forget. And it's kind of sad, but it is what it is. I am trying though, okay? it's It's been difficult since I've started and finished university to actually keep my mind focused on something that is not engineering related. It's very difficult actually. Again. Uh, see, how, see what I mean? It's, it's so hard to actually... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> it's so hard for me, bro. I'm sorry. Alright, uh, wait, do I have the, the water? Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna go around. I don't wanna get flame damage and I don't wanna just... Switch spells on Shadow Heart just to clear the water. It's annoying, I'm sorry. You may, you may hear my kid coughing every now and then. It will happen. Like I said, he is sick. Not sure why, but it is what it is. A lot of kids have been sick in kindergarten lately, so... Yeah. It is that time of the year. February, March, April. It's usually kind of cold, but also... It's usually kind of kind of cold, but lately it's been uh, it's been a mix of. Ooh, okay, hold up. This was accidental, by the way. Alrighty then. Uh, I did not mean to start this fight. I didn't think I could encounter them on the road like that. Because usually I find these people at the gate. So, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to also not yell in the microphone because sometimes I have noticed that I'm way too loud. So I'm sorry for that as well. <laughs> Alright, come on, gobbles. A good old will. I may take him this time. Ah. Alright. That is a lot of goblins. Wait. Are they always this many? We got a booyag, we got bugbeer. Bugbear. Uh, Zakrug. Let's see, we got three trackers, a brawler, and the word. Yeah, that should be about default numbers, no? Oh, I am right near the gate. Okay, that makes sense. Never mind. Never mind. See, with the, with the default camera, I couldn't tell. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Alright, uh, we jump in right in there. Let's see now. Can I... How is it not enough movement? All right, right in there. Got him. All right, please, just... Not enough movement! Sister, just swing your sword! It's big! Surely you can put the tip in the back. <laughs> All right, how about this? Nope. 
So this is why I need a ranged attack. Anyway, let me use the bow. Luckily, I got that. Ooh, that was almost a kill. Nice. Alright, um, we do need the Gale to just do a little bit of cleanup. So... Let me handle these that are up here. I did remember. I did remember. Wait, did my... I thought my Rishay just broke. Never mind. Uh, I do want to get a little bit of a height advantage with the Gale. But I don't really want him to just get engaged on right off the bat. So let me teleport him right here. There we go. There we go. I'm actually going to move him here. Sure. Behind this rock. We're going to make a Starion backstab the other uh, scout. Tracker. Tracker. All right, good old Will doing the arms of Hadar. Get him, Will. Will boy. Oof. Zevlor kind of getting hit up there. Um. Can Astarion make it all the way over there? Not really, no. Hmm. What if I dash? Ooh, right in there. Let go. Alright, I don't think I have sneak attack, but I'll try. I do not. I don't really know how advantage works in the game. But I'm assuming I need to be maybe possibly crouched and not in combat yet. Boom. Alright, Shadowheart really needs to get respect, and I forgot to actually look for uh, Withers. But it's fine. I don't recall if he's in camp right now or not. Let's see. What is this guy's HP? Six? What is his damage? One to ten? I... Um... Nope. Not enough range. Okay. Miss. Uh, okay. Let me just... Hit Kremiel with a little bit of Shield of Fate. Alright. We're getting hit a little bit. Actually, we're not. Uh, who got hit? Wait, Astarion got hit for 2 damage, apparently. Why is Astarion and the Shadowheart not rallied, by the way? If you're wondering what the rally is, it's the... The extra HP in yellow we got from Zevlor when he used the horn. I am very much confused why we don't have it on everybody. Also, why this warg just decided to turn on Kremiel like that? Feels kind of racist considering all the people up here. Anyway. I'm pretty sure he's immune to... I mean, not immune. Uh, he takes damage from everything. So, Profane Smite, because I don't want to just die to this. Alright. I don't... Do I use this? What is this again? Let's see. Um... Well, most stuff is vulnerable to Necrotic, so this is kind of useless. But I do know a couple stuff that may... May actually get impacted by this, but it's fine. It is fine. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, I'm gonna use the bonus action. I don't recall if bonus action stops the normal action, but we'll see right now. Uh, it does not? Okay. And then I think we magic missile the warg because... It's a little bit annoying. It's a little bit high HP, too. I am hoping uh, Kremiel does not get one shot next turn. Jesus! Ramira getting destroyed. Alright. 
Oof. Wheel's about to regret life. Oh, never mind, he healed. Good job. Decent, decent. Um, do I set fire to the warg? Or do I do this? Nah, we set fire to the warg. What if sneak attack? Can I can I sneak from here? No? I really need to figure out how Asterion works. Alright, this is fine. Shadow Heart? Nope. Uh, we have dodge, but we don't care about dodge right now. Can I get in range, though? Please, just get me in there. Okay. Can I melee? Never mind. Actual pain. Um, I don't want a guiding bolt just yet. I don't really want to waste spell slots either. Please hit. How do you miss in melee range with a flame? <sighs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Alright, Bugbeer and other dude is going to be a problem. I do want to use this actually. Because I don't know how much damage the war does. And I don't want to randomly lose Kremiel. To like a single hit. Know what I mean? Alright, please just drop. Thank you. And then the Goblin Tracker is gone. Let me go deal with the Brawler. Here we go. Let's see. Ramira got 15 HP, so she can take at least two attacks. If she dodges, maybe more. We got 21 HP Bugbeer. I think I just magic missile Zakrug and hope for the best. Ah, I could have been better, but it's fine. I have absolute range advantage with the uh, Gale and the uh, height advantage, which is actually kind of nice. Will just being a Chad healing everybody, doing the dips. Alright, uh, let's make sure I don't hit my allies accidentally, because you can. I, I could hit uh, Barth over here, or Aradin, and we don't want that. <sighs> Alright, uh, I think I just move Asterion a little bit closer. How is a vampire losing 4 HP from jumping off of here? That makes no sense to me. But it's fine. Alright, we're going all the way over here. Just get him closer. I don't think there is a point to getting Shadowheart closer. She is just kind of a pain. So, at least for now, she will be very, very useful once I actually respack her. I do need to get to the respacking though. Let's actually just jump there. I do. I, I know I just said I don't really want to take her closer, but it's fine. All right. I had to check the mods, by the way, for the clerics just before starting this, because uh, yeah, I don't want to randomly crash when I respect Shadow Heart. All righty then. All right, give me just a second. Got to check on my kid. I just wonder if the grubby okay. beasts had any friends. Little guy going to the bathroom. Had to make sure he's actually going to the bathroom and not uh, to his mom, which is working in the other room. With haste. Not for communal use, it seems. Ah, whoops. Hmm. <clears throat> See, I'm not paying attention that I accidentally clicked what I shouldn't have. <laughs> You're not allowed to. Steal from the people you just saved, by the way. Good yeah. Now I do have a level up, which is kind of nice. I don't really want to go straight to camp to respec. 
I don't... Let me actually see how much gold I got. Let's see. 255. Uh, zero? Yikes. Oh, mama. All right, we got no gold. It's fine. Let me actually uh, level up. Right, so we got Shadow Sight. Oh, okay. This is what I actually kind of wanted. Again, I'm saying the word so many times, I'm realizing after I say it. <laughs> uh, uh, pain. Your gaze is honed to the shadows and pierces all. You can't be blinded. You see through magical and non-magical darkness. So this is just basically universal sight. You see through everything. This is basically x-ray. You don't get blinded. You just... Yeah. Enshroud. So that's a passive. Uh, vanish into darkness and become invisible until you move. Um, decent, but no. I don't know if I want these, actually. Ah. I had to close the door, and I said the word again. I really gotta stop. What is this again? The undead are yours alone to command. Seize control over an undead creature and bind it to your will. The undead will follow you around and attack your enemies. You know what? This is not bad. Because I know at least two places where this is gonna be useful. Um, okay. And then we have Chilling Smite and Absorb Element. We will remove Absorb Element because I don't think it's good, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know if I want False Life. It is an action, though. So it's not wasting anything, which is kind of cool. And then we have Arms of Hadar. Prevents targets from using reaction, which is also kind of cool if you can move around. And get multiple hits off and can one-shot people. Then we got Dissonant Whispers. Which we don't really care about right now. Uh, it does frighten a, a person. Or creature. It doesn't say if it affects humanoids, it says creature. So maybe it's universal, question mark? Okay. So, I'm looking at Arms of Hadar. False life. Uh, Hellish Rebuke is... Not that bad, actually, but... Ray of Sickness, maybe, just because it's high range. It's 18. This is 3 meters, which is basically kind of melee-ish. Uh, I like Entomb as well. It's not not bad. It's got 10 turns, and it, it needs somebody to just get them out. But it's a con concentration spell, which I do not like. I'm also looking at protection from evil and good, so Shadow Heart doesn't have to do it all the damn time. And I get two. And this is also an action, not a not a spell. Does not use spell slots, which is actually kinda nice. Again, using the word I just realized after I speak it. Uh I think it's getting kinda cringe at this point. Zephyr Strike. Hmm. So is this flying or just move? Let's see, until the spell ends you have advantage. Nice. And then uh, on the next weapon attack roll, which deals an additional 1 to 8 force. Hit or miss, you get an additional 9 meters of move speed until the end of your turn. Um, Don't like. Not at all. I think I just get false life at this point, because I do have enough damage. I think I just need to stay alive. Either this or Entomb, but 
And Tube's concentration, this is just until long rest, which is broken in my opinion. So I'll just get this. And just keep chilling Smite, I think. This is 1d6, so it's the same, but this being poison damage is actually much worse. If there was something with 2d6 or, I don't know, 2d4 even, maybe. <laughs> it's fine, I think this is... It's either Arms of Adar or I keep this. But this applies Bone Chilling, which I think cuts healing, if I recall. Yeah. <coughs> and this does not apply uh, Bone Chill. So I'm keeping this. Okay? I'm keeping the Chilling Smite. I do think this is the best, just because of the Bone Chilling and Healing Cut, you know? Also, it's Cold Damage, so... Literally the best out of these, I think. Let's level up Shadow Heart real quick. Uh, do I want to multi class Shadow Heart? Not really. Not right now, anyway. Let's cancel. Uh, finally, getting some useful spells. Let's cut this. Let's cut Ceremony. Let's cut Bane. Uh, let me actually cut everything. We want Aid because it's good. We want... What is Portal Knowledge again? Draw on knowledge from spirits of the past and become proficient in one skill you lack proficiency in. Give me a sec. Alright, <sighs> had to give my kid a little a little snack. Uh, Warding Bond is good. And I think it might make Shadow Heart not be useless until I get to respack. This is good, actually kind of a broken spell. And I'm not, not even minding the use of the word actually on this one, because it's very good. It is one of the best spells at early game for Shadow Heart because it's another unit basically which allows you to tank with. Okay? It just tanks hits for you and also does damage. It is basically another unit like Magic Hand but better, way better. Okay, and then we need both heals. Shield of Fate. And I don't want to get protection from evil and good right now, because it's not good right now. Maybe in Act 2, but in Act 1 I have not found much use for protection from evil and good. I need to check these. Why are these doubled? Hello? Okay. And we have two Volkranas. Alright, never mind. Just the mod being buggy, I guess. I have not updated it uh, in a while. But at least we are not crashing, so that's good. Hold person. This is for humanoids only. Okay. We don't care about calm emotion. We just saved. When games do that, it scares me, bro. Permanent protection from poison. Hmm. Ray of Sickness is poison damage. And... Give me a second, I need to read this. Grants advantage on saving throws against being poisoned and resistance to poison damage. How much is this resistance? Only take half amount. I know a couple booyags or whatever they are called. From the goblin camp, which are extremely annoying. And they are also inside the Goblin Stronghold. And they also use a uh, Ray of Sickness. So I think I'm taking that one over Warding Bond. Even though I like Warding Bond, um, you have to be in melee. And you can only do this with a single person as far as I know. And this will make it permanent 
anti-poison damage for everybody, I think. I'm gonna do this right off the bat. Let me check these two again. Uh, bone liquefaction. We don't really care about this right now. Valkana's corpse grenade. What is this? Piercing damage, necrotic damage. That's a lot of damage, though. If you actually get the 36, oh, mama. This, wait, this is an action? Is this broken? About I need a tank. Recharge a corpse or allied undead with negative energy. Ooh, I, I know how to use this, but I don't really want to use this. It would make Shadowheart a necromancer because you would use the glow in the dark skeletons with this. But I don't know if it works. That's the problem. I do not know if it works. You know, this might this might make Shadowheart not be bad. And you just turn Shadowheart into necromancy user. With these uh glowy skeletons with the Shadowfell Salvo. Which is basically kinda like your arcane missile. But it does necro damage and it's only two instead of three hits. But it is a 2d10, huh. Also has advantage against targets that are heavily obscured or in negative energy fields. And then you use this with the skeletons, if it actually works. And then target must be skeleton, says. Must succeed a constitution saving throw or become inflicted for one minute. Target suffers one acid damage at the start of its turn, so technically this could go up to 60 damage if you are fighting for a full minute under this effect. Um. Wait, this goes up to more damage because it increases by one damage. This is more than 60 damage. Way more, but it actually needs too much time to stack. Way too much time to stack. <laughs> yeah, never mind. In reality, this would do like 5 damage at, uh, at most, probably. I think this is the just, just the better thing overall. And then you got Lesser Restoration, which is decent, but... I think Protection from Poison... For now. And I'll look at this later, maybe. It does cure Blindness. Paralysis and disease. Prayer of healing. This is also kind of a good one. But it can only be used outside of combat. Which I don't really like. I think this is the play. What I got right here. I think this is the play. I just give people 5 extra HP. Would also make Gale not be... Maybe as one shotable, even though he only would have 9 HP, but it's fine. I think this is Shadow Heart currently. Alright. We get a subclass for Astarion. Arcane Trickster. Bloodlatter. Fencer Thief Assassin. First Blood. Palanica successful attack on a full health enemy, the blood letter spares blood, creating a blood surface at the point of impact. You gain advantage on attack rolls when your target is bleeding or severe bleeding and gain expertise with medicine, blood tracing aura, marks, any foes that come into contact with blood puddles. Huh. You gain advantage on attack rolls. Oh wow. Wait, the... Intentionally draws blood if the target is hostile, inflict bleeding and severe bleeding, otherwise purchase the target from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness and heals. What? So this is a heal on allies and damage on enemies? Question mark? And it also purges disease and all that? And what do you mean is permanent? I'm confused. 
Crimson Blink. Traversed to any available blood surface, this movement can't be executed when threatened. So if somebody is nearby, you can't jump. Okay. But if nobody is nearby, within 18 meters you can jump literally anywhere. If there's a blood puddle. Eh, I don't know, bro. But that would literally be a Starion, I think. Let me check the cantrips. Oh, wow. Spells? Blade Mirage? And then we got all of this, which is basically... What Gale would have been. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. This is a spell user. And I do not want to make a study on a spell user. We got Gale for that. I think we just make him a blood letter. It's going to be weird to use this. I've I don't I've never actually used a Starion in the default game, so I don't know if this is new from the mods or not. It, it might be new. It does look modded content to me. But yeah. I'll just use this, I guess. And then good old Gale. Oh wow, that's a lot of spells. We have False Life, which would help with Gale. I'm not gonna lie. But what is this? Snowball Storm. Gotta remember, I don't think I use uh, any spell slots. I think that goes the same for level 2 and 3 spell slots? Question mark? Oh, wow, that's a lot of spells, bro. That is a lot of spells. Is there anywhere I can read? Let's see now. So, your constant use of your own body as a magic and blah, 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 don't care. You can cast spells without the need for spell slot. Can I please keep this here? So, each spell has a level, can only be cast with a spell slot of that level or higher. We gain a spell slot by taking a long rest. I think, considering the fact that it does not specify if I only... I think this, yeah, so it does not specify if it's only for spell slot level 1 or if it's, well, basically universal. I think it's universal for every single spell slot level. So technically, I don't use spell slots at all. And that, that's kind of nice, actually. Literally makes Gale broken, though. Um... Flaming Sphere is good, because it does uh, allow me to kind of tank with Gale, so he doesn't get one shot. It is a concentration spell, though. I think. I'm not completely sure about this one. Let's see, we got Mind Whip, Psychic, 3d6. Mm. Melt's Acid Arrow is... Uh, but acid and poison are kind of trash, as far as I know, anyway. Let's see, magic weapon. I don't like concentration uh, spells, I'm not gonna lie. Just because it's so easy to break concentration. Unless you have something that, uh, like a passive, that makes you unable to break concentration. Tasha's is very good. I will possibly use this a little bit later down the line in the underside, underdark. I still don't remember the name, by the way. Um, flock of familiars. What? Crackle. 
3d12? 36? Wait, it stuns? Oh my god. Oh, but they need to all... Oh, that's... If this stunned on each hit, that would be actually good. <laughs> Again, making use of the word. It only stuns if... All three of them hit at the same time. Let's see now. Creates that uh, creatures that enter their that end their turn. What am I reading? Within two meters of the dust devil, take one to eight bludgeoning damage and are pushed back. This is another concentration spell. It does make a dust devil for ten turns. The question is, is this something that has hit points? Because if it is, it can tank. But if it's not, then it's possibly kind of useless to me. Man, I'm having a, a tough time deciding what I want for Gale, because there's so much stuff here. Um, I think we take Snowball Storm. We want Gale to just be our damage dealer. This looks decent, but I don't know. Arcane Lock. I think I take Arcane Lock. Well, I need I need to check these. I don't like Witch Bolt again. Uh... So this is very high range. By the way, this is probably the highest range spell I've ever seen so far. 27 meters. Also Vortex Warp. So we can teleport somebody. Warding Wind, 100 turns. Strong wind blows you in a 3 meter radius while clearing clouds and extinguishing flames, and obje uh, flames on objects. Other creatures in the wind are in difficult terrain. Creatures also have disadvantage. Uh, I am tempted to just take Ice Knife and uh, Snowstorm, but I think I only take Snowstorm. This is more damage, but it's a uh, uh, lower range. This is much higher range. But it's a little bit lower damage. Wait, this is actually... The Ice Knife is lower damage. If it misses, it does... 212. 2 to 12. Ugh, I'm confused. I think I just take Snowball Storm because of the higher range. The much higher range. And then uh, I take... I don't think I take Shatter, because it's... Wait, it's 18 meters. Was this not melee before? They might have changed this. Or it's a mod. It, it might be a mod that's messed with Shatter. Uh, where's it at? But Shadowheart already gives me some HP. Yeah, this is too extra, but... I can only have temporary hit points from a single source, which means I cannot use it with Shadowheart's uh, hit pointing. I'm thinking Chromatic Orb. Oh, uh, never mind, actually. I'm gonna be taking the Arcane Lock. No, never mind, never mind. Uh, I'm thinking about the wrong spell. Arcane Lock is not what I want. What I want is the other one that allows me to lockpick. Uh, did I see that? Yeah, knock. There we go. So I, I'm taking knock and snowball storm. I think. I think these are possibly the best. Just highest range, and then I got this, which is very useful. I don't have to always use uh, the the things for the 
unlocking which is kind of kind of good i'm just take this i don't like witch bolt again i hate this i just don't know how to use it maybe <laughs> i just think it's bad i'm sorry it may be good but i just think it's bad in my opinion it's bad it could be good if you actually know how to use it though but i don't so i'm not taking it <laughs> all right then Let's see what they got in their inventory. Nothing. Did I miss something? Mm, might have missed this one? I don't know. Let's check. Broken loot. Alright. Uh let me go behind. Let me let me go let me go behind. But before I go behind, where, where's Cremiel going? Hello, come here. Let's do the aid. Boom! All right, some extra HPs for everybody else. And I'm doing this on everybody. Hopefully, I it is allowed on everybody. It's not. Oh, it's a... Uh, mm, so I'm gonna have to waste a lot of time charging this up. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. At least he doesn't get one shot probably by Ray of Sickness anymore. I guess. I, I'm trying to click. Please let me game. Thank you. All right. Everybody but Gale is decent at uh, their HPs. Let's see, we got false life. Um. Yeah. 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 See, I did not take into consideration that I would take the 8 thing on Shadowheart, and I actually went with the wrong spell here. Accidentally. Did I just take Ray of Sickness? <coughs> nah. I think I just take Arms of Hadar. Or Tasha's he just lost her. Well, let me actually read a little bit on the Venomous Smite before I decide on anything. I, I keep saying actually it's it's getting it's annoying me. That's the problem. It's already annoying me, so I can only assume it's annoying everybody else as well. It's a reaction, we don't really care for the reaction we have a lot of reaction if i recall i need to check though yeah we do yeah we don't care about those not right now anyway you know what mmm yeah, we'll use you. We'll use the the dissonant whisper, just because it's higher range. And even though this does, in fact, still do have damage on miss. This is just three d six, so it's much better. Plus the frightening for two turns, which I I think is just way better than arms of Hadar. Not to mention this is basically melee. So yeah. All right, I finally decided. There we go. Do we go here? Or do I go for the hidden cache right now? I think I just go for the hidden cache right now. All right, going up here. The reason I'm going up here is because there is literally nothing to fight here, if I recall. 
There's just some items in the cache. Which we will take. I don't recall if there's anything in the barrels, so let me check. Uh, good thing I did. I don't really need this because Gale can just read minds by default, apparently. Is that blood? No, never mind. What is this? Tongs? We don't care about the tongs right now. 16 gold. Okay, is that it? That seems to be it. I will check every now and then, though. There's this plant here. Alright. Do I just go behind the Emerald Grove? And start from there? Hmm. Sure. Sure. This could be bad. Bear in mind, there are traps. Oh, I just jumped accidentally. That was not where I wanted to jump, but it's fine. I just lost 3 HP for no reason. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astarion? A sweetheart? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. You must be eager to get back then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. All right. So. Okay. This means I don't really have to explain everything myself. So, like I said, there are traps. We did not fail the perception check. Um, what is this? Embrace of the... F Wait, I missed this. Permanent, class action, bonus action... Recharges on long rest only. Unleash the darkness inside. You gain flight. And at the end of each turn, other creatures within 10 meters of you that can see you must each succeed a charisma saving throw or become feared, basically. Once per turn, deal an additional necrotic damage. Okay. To one target when you deal damage to it with an... With an what, wait, what? <clears throat> Deal an additional 2 to 8 necrotic damage to one target when you deal damage to it. Okay. For some reason I thought this would do AoE damage around me. I don't know why. So, we got the eagle statue here. We got the rune of the eagle. That's gonna try to hit me. So, what I'm gonna do... Is, first of all, let's break off the group mode. And then I just jump all the way there and remove the rune. Ah. That's a lot of damage. I should have entered turn base mode. It's fine. Oh my god. Uh, sh Shadow Heart. Sh sh Shadow Heart. Why can't I switch? Hello, game? Oh my god. Alright. Alright, chill. I have to waste all my healing. Uh, okay, that was very annoying. If the gods are watching me. Okay, I did not mean to enter combat just yet, but it's fine. Let's try to save uh, good old Findle. I think he's in a rough spot right now. Are you serious right now? Okay, let's actually test this. Please heal Gale. I just hit shut. Mm, I just accidentally hit Shadow Heart. Okay, let's see if there's any good old pull a blood maybe somewhere around here targets too far there's a little bit there uh sneak nope all right
Yeah, that was complete failure on my part. Complete failure. It's fine. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I accidentally hit Shadow Heart instead of Gale. I don't know why I thought Gale was Shadow Heart. It's fine. I'm just gonna sto snowstorm right here. Will this hit? Uh, range is so small. It's fine. You either sit in the snowstorm. Wait, that did three damage. That's literally the the weakest snowstorm I've ever seen. Snowball storm. What is this? Echoing resonance. Oh, we don't we don't touch that. I remember now. We do not touch that one. I'm sorry, that was a double hit. I'm sorry. Why did I get double hit by a single arrow? What? Okay. That's a little bit upsetting. I'm not gonna lie. Um, do we try this out? Sure. Wait, let me... You know what? I'm gonna use that on the warg, actually. Let me smack. Here we go. Let's, uh... I think if I move in close, I make ranged attacks basically kind of fail <laughs> okay please jump there just get out of the way shadow heart yeah i will make you run around for no reason because you are literally useless still i don't want to waste the spiritual weapon just yet also i can't i need the short rest which is a little bit annoying but it is what it is now let me see if I can heal Gale. No, you know what? I'm gonna heal Cremio. The fact that a Starion has suddenly become a healer, bro. Alright. Nice. Can I teleport all the way over there? Is that possible? It is. Dang. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do that just yet, though. Yeah. Oh wow, that's AoE. That's cringe. Okay. Uh, use... Uh... Wait, why am I using level 1 spells? I can freely use level 2 spells. Which is literally more damage. And smarter to do. <laughs> Where does it work? What? Was that a summon? All right. I'm confused. That might have been a summon. Um, let's see. This is a bonus. Which means I can literally heal anybody? Oh, I need blood essence. Oh, okay. Anyway, I did need the heal. But not like that. Alright, we need to move with Shadow Heart. She needs to be up front. She's literally the healthiest currently. Let me read this real quick. Okay. Hmm. Sure, let's check the wooden crates. Thank God I did. Oh, mama. Okay, we got a spell. These poor people losing the supplies. Ooh, heavy chest. Time to use knock. Two more of those. Damn, we're getting a lot of these tools. Alright, uh, Gale, do your magic. Alright. Are you serious? 
This is the first time I I actually opened that. I am so dead. Ah. <sighs> All right. Oh no. Typical projection of gale of water deep. And if you see this manifestation, that means I have prematurely perished. Okay. For reasons that cannot be disclosed, it is of vital importance that my death be remedied at your earliest convenience. You may rest assured that I do not speak out of self-preservation alone. Many lives depend on my return to the living within the span of two days. I trust I've made myself clear. Um... Uh, okay. Let's see if he has some insight. A magical item that can accomplish my return. But such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. Are you serious? I will now explain the protocol. Step one. Yeah, my face exactly. From my person, a pouch I wear over my <coughs> Next, you must unthread the purple seam that seals it in a counterclockwise fashion. Do not touch any other colored strand. Nah. Inside the pouch, you will find a folded letter and a tiny flute. Unfold the letter and note the markings in the top and bottom corners. These are the notes you will need to play. Start oh my god, what is this minigame just to, to revive him? Upon completion of the tune, a magma method will appear. A what now? The following question. Iskcha Chisnaga. This is ignorant for what is my name? The answer is Kasitrak Ash. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to remember that name? The method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear, because the little scamp can melt metal. Oh my god. Now appear on the letter's surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of true resurrection. Use it to bring me back to life. <laughs> Are you serious? It is ridiculously elaborate. I think ingenious is the word you're looking for. Now, repeat my instructions back to me, please. More like this is to prevent every anybody from literally saving you after you died. Why would you go through all this to save somebody? Why is my leg twitching like that? Will it do it again if I wait? Hold up. Okay. No leg movement. That was weird. Uh, the leg moved. <laughs> what was that, bro? Alright. Oh my... Fine. Retrieve the pouch. Um... I forgot. Purple? In counterclockwise? Right. Okay. You then have access My memory is not that not as bad as I thought, I guess. And then uh, I should play the notes. I, I did bottom. Remember to play them clockwise. And after that? I uh, no. I'm sorry. They gave me multiple thingies. Was it k k Drush? What? The blighter is called No, I'm sorry. How is anybody expected to remember that? Just random letters. And pay attention to the track part. Yeah, just gargle for all I care. No, this is the first time I'm seeing this interaction with Gale. Ever. He has died multiple times during my playthroughs, but... This is the first time I see this minigame, and I'm not gonna do it. Well, or should I? Man... Here's the problem. I know for a fact when he dies, everybody just takes necrotic damage. Which is very annoying. Where's the lock? Uh... Is it this? Pouch? We are all gonna die! Move! <laughs> Jesus! Alright. 
Oh my god, okay. Uh, there we go, set into the main. The Kremiel. What is this again? Stores Gale's extra. Okay, we send this back to Gale. We don't care about that one. This is what we care about. Here's how I'm gonna name this one. Gale died. Oh no. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so pull the purple in counterclockwise fashion. As the purple thread becomes undone, the pouch opens to reveal a letter and flute inside. I am worried that I will fail this. I'm sorry. This requires my memory to not be as bad, and my memory is literally incredibly bad lately. Um, do this. Whoops. I don't remember if this is the order. <laughs> Let me put the flute away. Okay, so we have the scroll. We have the flute. Uh, read question mark? Uh, D, D, E? What? I am very confused. Wait. A, D, D, E. I've never used the flute in the game, so I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Performance, yes. I'm so screwed. What happens if I fail these, by the way? Do I just lose instantly? Oh my god, please. Okay. I don't know what happens if Gale just... ...buggers off to the other dimension. <laughs> I may just straight up lose the game. I, I have heard or slash read this before. That if Gale dies, you just straight up lose the game. Oh my god, Shadowheart, what is that comment? <laughs> okay. The uh, waits with bated breath. Uh, was it A D D E? Please don't fail. Wasn't the right note. You'll have to start anew. Wait. Do we do this in the reverse? E? So it's E D D A? No? I am so confused. I am so confused. Okay, let's try D. What? So is it D D A E or D E A D or D a, D, E, I'm so confused, I'm sorry. Let's try double D. Okay, it's a double D. That wasn't no? You'll have to start anew. First one is definitely D. <laughs> I have to figure this one out because I forgot. <laughs> Too many instructions, bro. All at the same time. D, A? Nope. Okay, so it's D E. If only there was a way to reread the instruction manual. D E. A D. Oh, dead. <laughs> oh my god. Really? I just now realized this. It's literally spelling dead. Okay. It, it took me a minute, I'm sorry. I was not paying attention to the bigger picture, if you know what I mean. Okay, this is the... Kajitragash? What? That, your nose big, bro! Holy! Huh? 
Hand over Gil's letter? Alright. Okay. And then we have a scroll of true resurrection with full hit points. So I am assuming this will make... Wait, is this gonna... Is this gonna revive everybody? Bro, if it revives everybody... Okay. So this does in fact make Gale... Not have the the necro aura, which was literally extremely annoying. I'm gonna have to revify uh, a Starion. Guess I should have checked for a uh, what's it called? A trap. There we go. All right. Um, on group. And let's just try to open it again, maybe. Okay. I don't think this was worth it. Um, sure. I guess I can give that to Gale. But I literally do not think this was worth it. That said... I have seen a new interaction with Gale, which I have never seen before. Okay. And we have Flytrap. So this is passive, no? Or will this only happen on topple? So when I topple somebody. I don't know. Anyway. Um, where is... Let's see. Gotta waste another one of these. Oh man. So bad. Complete failure on my part. But if I did not fail like I did, I would have never had this interaction with Gale probably. Alright, let's go get the money from the gobbles. Uh, before I talk to dude over there. I need to make sure I don't die before I try this. There is something there and the, the statue will probably try to hit me. It's probably gonna succeed too. Okay, let's make sure I don't use the hit point. Don't lose the hit point. Oh my god, it's still hit? That's so cringe. Sorry, what now? How many times will you shoot? I removed the rune, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> what? Uh, I don't have any healing. Keep your distance, darling. Okay, please, Astarion. Okay. Well, some rests better than none. Well. <sighs> Everything going wrong right now. Literally everything going wrong right now. Okay, Starion, come on. Do your jumps. Wait, I can... Can I not teleport? I removed the rune! What do you mean? Oh my god, bro. Bro. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, Astarion. I can't. He died. Man, that is so cringe. That is so cringe. I'm I'm sorry, I I have to save scum this because this is I I don't think I have the money to save them, that's the problem. Will I have to do the Gale thing again? 
You know what? Oh, whatever. Whatever. Let's just long rest. And try to... I can't. Why? Watch me save a stadion and he dies again. That is literally the worst. Okay, never mind. I still don't understand what happened there, because I removed the rune. And that should mean that this thing does not hit me, no? Are you serious, bro? Are you serious? Please, just let me... Let me save Kremiel and just get the hell out of here. Oh my god, okay. Please let me long rest. Jesus. What was that, bro? So, does removing the rune there not stop the, the, the bear statue from hitting me? Or did I remove the wrong rune and I did not read? <laughs> I am so confused. Alright, we got an interaction with Gale. And we got an interaction with Withers, finally. My face protects me. I don't have the gold, though. Oh, annoying? Come okay, it's fine. I'll respect Shadowheart when I get the gold for it. I don't really want to waste so much gold right now. Let's see, we got Slate of Hand. Do I give this to a Stadion? I think I do. He has no gloves, so might as well. Alright. Time to talk to Gale. I'm gonna just make this entire episode be about Gale, I guess. My word, you did it! <laughs> oh, it's good to be alive. All yeah, right. Still cold, so that handshake will have to wait. But in the meantime, thank you. All right. Feels bad being bothered during recording. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you are welcome. Oh. It's a relief to be back on beautiful Faerun. The dreariness of the fugue plane oppresses one's soul so very quickly. That said, I assume you have some questions for me. Yeah, how about... You, I have precious few answers to spare. I apologize if that sounds thankless. It's just that some secrets simply cannot be revealed. Here's the biggest uh, question. How do I remove your stupid necrotic field damage? Your AoE necro for no reason. Just... Destroyed my entire party. <sighs> that's well. That's very kind of you. If the roles were reversed, I don't know if I'd have your patience. You brought me back to life, and for that, I am in your debt. I was surrounded by danger. It could happen again. If it does, bring me back again. You must, for the sake of many. All I know is that he blows up or something. If he... If he actually completely dies off. And... <laughs> I have read somewhere that... The game just ends if he dies. I'm not sure if that's true. What happened to my hands? I just realized... Too bad I can't zoom in closer. But I am seeing my hands kinda glowy. Was this always a thing? Huh. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's go... Talk to Withers. Withers is not here. I'm sorry. Wrong direction. <laughs> All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Hmm. 
we meet again as predicted i don't really understand this character i'm not gonna lie i shall be here in my camp for whenever thou hast need of my service i'm sure there is an explanation for him but i may have not reached that point into the game where his existence is explained okay so let's just start with number one, I guess. There are many answers to that question. None are important. Okay. Skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. Correct. Are you going to explain further? Watch him say no. No. <laughs> Alright. Um, I kind of want to attack him, but... It's gonna instantly just end in complete failure. Also, it's probably gonna end in me being unable to respec. Which is literally what the Dark Souls series are doing. And have been doing forever. Um, yeah. This is basically your maiden from Dark Souls. Pretty sure. Uh, you were sorting something before? An amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Okay. Will these hirelings be joining me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Okay. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Confusion. Do you think I can trust them? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can offer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Very impressive. Thou or any of thy compatriots yes, yes. Wish, I will cleave soul to body once more. All right. So. <laughs> and they look very ugly doing it. Nah, no, no, nah, dude, we don't go there. We don't go there. Uh, nobody's dead right now because I did just waste two of those uh, scrolls because I couldn't come to camp. Game. Um, I would like to talk about hirelings. What is a hireling? I'm confused. Who? Is, this, is it like a, a demon mercenary or something? Just a random tiefling appearing or something? Uh, an undead? No explanation whatsoever. Alright. Incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy? It is my calling. Ah, yes. There is little else to explain. Withers does not care for us to actually understand what is going on. A matter of course. 200? Was it not 100 before? <coughs> okay. Yeah, we don't care about switching classes. Uh, I do care about switching Shadowheart's class, but I don't know if I want to switch it right now. The fact that I gotta waste two spell slots and I just realized they said permanent, but it's going away on death. Which is really bad, I'm gonna have to switch this. So, let's remove the poison thing. Protection from poison. Never touching it again. Is there a way to tank? Let's see, I need something that just... Kinda does not use a spell slot or something. 
This is a ritual, but it's a concentration. We don't want those. I do need to respec Shadow Heart. I'm sorry. I, I feel like she's so bad. Like the default Shadow Heart is bad, bro. Or is it just me? Let's try. Let's try. Okay. Whenever thou As thou okay, so I'm pretty sure this just took 100 gold from Kremiel, but it's fine. Alright. I will keep Shadowheart as a cleric. But I'm not keeping her trickery. So, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of new stuff here as well. Is... Is war still the play? Life domain is nice if you want to go like a necromancer style, which I do not. Uh, war, I believe, is the one I was going usually, which is literally for tanking, kind of, if I recall. But they might have changed. But there's a lot of new stuff here. Alright, we got moon domain. I think this is for Saloon, which is literally what uh, Shadowheart is not all about. So let's not go Moon Domain. Maybe Forge? What does Forge do? Um, spells? There's nothing here. The fact that I can't see anything is a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. You gain a spell from your domain. They're always prepared. Wait, everything? <laughs> everything is prepared? Question mark? I am confused. So, whatever we get from Forge is always, always prepared? Huh. That does sound interesting. I don't know if I want to go with Forge, though. Hmm. She got Searing Smite. Compelled Duel. Nah. I don't like Forge. I think I'm just going to War. Maybe. Shield yourself with divine light, use your reaction to impose this advantage. No, we don't care about that. Let's... Uh... Wait. Hold up. Okay, never mind. I, I thought we get something extra here, but no. No. It's fine, though. What is this? Spare the dying? What? Was this always? Hmm. What does prevent it from dying mean? Because I am very much confused about this one. Word of Radiance. I know what I think. These are fine. We got Song Domain, which is gonna make it basically kind of be a bard. We don't want that. Tempest. Ooh, you get Thunder Wave. That's kind of nice. Twilight. Everything is prepared. Duskward Mantle. Oh, you and all your allies gain advantage on Wisdom saves for 5. We don't care. 
dispatch a creature including yourself to give plus 4 to next initiative roll. Ooh, that's kinda nice though. But I don't like these. Sword Dancer? Ailey Stray Moonfire? I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, I'm not gonna lie. Create flickers of moonlight that flickers and dances around the caster. I'm sorry, what? What is the use for this? Is it just light? For lighting? That it? It doesn't explain anything. This also explains nothing. Oh, I did not see this one, I'm sorry. Uh, let's actually read the, the Blessing of the Forge, which I did not see because the icon is missing. You gain the ability to imbue magic into a weapon or armor until the next long rest or until you die. The object is granted plus one bonus AC if, the armor, if it is armor or a plus one bonus to attack and damage roll if it's a weapon. Okay. So we could get... We could get one bonus AC. I don't really like Searing Smite or Compelled Duel. <sighs> I might regret this. I might regret this. I I think I just go with the with the war. That would be the sensible one, but you know what? Forge it is. Forge it is. It's telling me wisdom, though. I don't like wisdom. The reason I don't like wisdom is easy. Uh, my weapon is literal trash. So I can't melee anything. If I would go war, however... Hmm. Can I change my ability points after? I don't think I can. I'm a little bit upset, I'm not gonna lie. Man, why does it have to be wisdom? I, I kind of want Shadowheart to be my tank, you know, because I have none. Forge domain? Sounds like it could become a tank, question mark? But at the same time... I don't think I need charisma. <laughs> like at all. Because I see literally no reason for uh, charisma to be there. Question is, do I need 17 Wisdom? Or do I go like this? Nah. Nah, I think I keep the 17 Wisdom. Or can I make it... I think this is better, actually. At least for now. For right now, I think this is way better than what I had previously on Shadow Heart. Even though I lose one Wisdom, you still keep the, the plus 3. You don't get plus 4 for being 17, you need uh, 18 for that. And then I get uh, the plus 2 instead of having plus 1 on strength checks, which means my weapon is more reliable. I also have plus 2 on constitution checks and get a little bit more HP because... Yeah. Also get one more initiative. I get one more HP. Yeah, I think this is just more... This is just better across the board. I don't need Charisma. Why was Charisma sitting at 12? Jesus. What is the reason for having the chat, bro? <laughs> so Charisma is only good for Bards, Paladins, Sorcerer, Warlocks, tr influencing trader prices, and dialogue, basically. 
And we don't use any of those on Shadowheart. Why was Charisma 12? We don't really care about dialogue. At least not in this playthrough. We care about not being useless. So... I think we don't prepare anything. Oh, I mean, we do have to. So let me just go like this, I guess. I think we just go like this. I'm trying to figure out if Forge Domain is good. If it's not, I may regret life just a little bit. Okay. We get literally nothing here. But it's <coughs> fine, I guess. Um, Guiding Bolt. I'm sorry, Guiding Bolt is just much better. That's four die. It's double. And it's uh, six faces instead of ten. It's just way better in, gen in general. Even though it's this one is a multi-hit, it's still two die. <laughs> and ten, ten faces. Nah. Alright, uh, hopefully we get some decent spells here. What is this? Hey, uh, heat metal? Okay. We get magic weapon. We get multi concentration spells. We don't care about those. Uh, if <laughs> the only way I would care about the concentration spells is if I get a feat, which, uh, Literally just has as a passive that uh, we don't care about losing concentration. Just... You never break concentration. Unless it says that I don't care about concentration spells. I, I don't like them in general. Now I like Sanctuary, but... At the same time, I want Shadowheart to... Well... Tank. So... But this would help with the Gale problem. But it's only 10 turns. And this kind of just gives my entire party extra 5 HP. So I think this is better for uh, for right now. <coughs> I'm also thinking about Prayer of Healing instead of Aid. But I think Aid is the better choice right now. I need level 4. That I know for a fact. I need level four. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. All right, let me actually check my gold. Did Shadowheart l really have a hundred gold? I don't think she did. Well, she has two now. Anywho. Okay. No All right. I think. For uh, right now, that is it. Will has not joined us just yet. But he will be joining us a little bit later. And I don't know if I want to keep Astarion or switch to Will, but we'll see. He's basically kind of like a vampire doctor. I've got a long road ahead. We'll see. I, I may end up liking Astarion, but so far he got no spells. Nothing. No... He only has, like, one ability, which I like. <laughs> so, we'll see. I don't really want to respec him, though. It's 100 gold, which I got to waste. And right now, I don't have gold, like, at all. All right. Let's go to bed, see if we got any... Um, is there a way to check the clock? I don't... I don't know. I think it's night time, question mark? Let's see, can I wait or something? No? Alright, it's fine. Let's just full rest. And see if we get any interactions during this rest. And if not, we will end the video. And I will see you in the next one. Alright, we get the interaction with Astarion. If I recall... No, this is not it. Never mind. Okay, that was all.
um, if I recall, this one with a Starion is where he goes hunting animals to eat. Yes. Alright. That's it for this one. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry Gale died, but we got to see the interaction, which I have never seen, because... I don't know, I've just never seen it, even though he has died before, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully no crashes happen, hopefully the game does not break, and hopefully we get to maintain this save for as long as humanly possible.